In this tutorial I'm going to talk about painting different types of armor and for this one it's going to be metal. So I, I'm starting out with this uh, little drawing I did of a pauldron and I have the main pauldron shape and the lines on separate layers and they're both set to multiply. So I'm just going to add a layer behind and select a very desaturated orange color. And I'm going to use the hard round brush so there's no opacity and I'm just going to fill in this entire pauldron shape. Now that I have that shape, I'm going to go and do a clipping mask that I talked about earlier. So I, with that layer selected, I'm going to go to layer, new, layer, and then use previous layer as a clipping mask. And this will allow me to paint in the shadows and the highlights without having to worry about painting outside of the lines. So I'm going to go in and pick a darker color and I'm going to the round brush that has opacity set to pen pressure and I'm just painting in the shadow right here. It's the, the core shadow. It's the area where the pauldron turns around the shoulder. The thing about metal is that you're going to have a lot of areas of high contrast right next to each other. Like you'll have darks right up next to a very strong highlight. And that's one of the ways that you can show that something is metal. I'm going in now with a very bright color and I'm painting in some of the highlights. And these are going to go in the area that's closest to the viewer or the area that's um, going to be facing out and catching the light. And so this is, since this is on your shoulder, it's going to be on the area that's closest to the light source or closest to the viewer. A lot of times metal is very reflective as well. So you're going to have um, this reflected light on the back side of it. So I'm just going to pick a slightly blue color just to add in that reflected light on the back. And adding in a reflected light on the back will also help um, give your shape a little more form. And I'm going back in and darkening up some of these shadows a little bit. Now the purpose of this isn't to paint a photorealistic piece of armor, but to show you kind of my process that I go through when I'm doing a character design for like a video game or something. I'm trying to keep this fairly loose and doing it uh, fairly quickly to give you an idea of what I go through. Typically I'll spend longer on these types of things in an actual illustration. Now I'm going in and adding highlights to each of the segments of armor. I'm going to go in over here next to the shadow and add another highlight right next to it. Again, those areas of high contrast that a lot of metal objects have. And on the top layer above the line art, I'm going to go and carve out the shapes in the back. Since these are plates laying on top of each other, they're going to um, have different thicknesses where I need to show that they're laying on top of each other. Sometimes painting curves in one direction is a little hard, so I'll flip my canvas and just the way my wrist rotates, it'll be easier for me to paint certain angles or curves. The other thing you want to think about when you're painting armor is how is it actually constructed and held together. So I'm going in and adding these little rivets that are holding the different segments together and adding the shadows and the highlights to each rivet 
You can also, I'm going in and adding in nicks and dents and things into the armor just to give it a little more realism and just so it isn't so flat and digital and boring looking. Now depending on the type of metal you're wanting to paint, you may want it to be a little shinier. So like, I'm going to go in and add a new layer and set that layer to color dodge. And with the middle tone gray, I'm going to use the airbrush tool and just strengthen some of these highlights. Just add a little more bright to the image. And I'm going to go in and add a little bit of a brighter uh, fill light in the back, or like a reflected light. And then I added a new layer, and it's just a normal layer, and I'm painting opaquely on top of that. The other way to add a little bit of realism is to add some rust around the rivets. So I'll pick an orange color and add in little bits of rust here and there just to show that the, the person wearing this armor, you know, they go outside and they're fighting in the rain or whatever in the elements. So talking about adjustment layers earlier, I'm going to go and add an adjustment layer and do levels and just increase the darks and the lights a little bit just to push the form slightly. And I'm also going to go in on a new layer and just add a little more um, highlights and reflections and things in the armor just to give it some more interest and maybe some of these are a little more blue. Like a lot of times armor will pick up colors that are around it. So I'm just adding these in for a little bit of variety and visual interest. And that's pretty much how you paint a piece of armor.